I did not cancel any debate. I was notified that I was going to be participating so the chamber would cancel the debate. Instead of meeting face to face, the two candidates in the race for St. Landry Parish DA spoke to voters separately on their own Facebook pages tonight. That debate between incumbent District Attorney Charles Cravens and his challenger Chad Pete was called off by the St. Landry Parish Chamber of Commerce. In a statement, the chamber cited logistical conflicts with the Pete campaign, and now this canceled debate is itself becoming an issue on the campaign trail. Three's on the street tonight, Iman Boyd live in St. Landry Parish to explain. Iman. Well, voters here in St. Landry Parish had a chance to hear from both candidates running for district attorney, just not quite in the way that it was originally planned. Both candidates addressed tonight's cancellation of the debate on Facebook to their supporters. My first question is, why are you here tonight answering these questions? D.A. Charles Cravens went on with a debate complete with a moderator claiming his opponent backed out of the debate despite a written agreement that included ground rules. All questions will be confidential to all parties other than the chamber executive advocacy. There is no written agreement between myself or my campaign and the chamber of commerce. This is fake news. On his Facebook page, candidate Chad Pete says October 15th didn't work with his campaign, but on top of that, he doesn't dispute that he had stipulations. The debate had to have the following important issues to be covered. Among the issues Pete wanted to cover, a backlog of cases in St. Landry Parish. There are almost 6,500 felony backlog cases that have not yet gone to trial. 42 of those are homicide cases, and those numbers are unacceptable. And to make matters worse, that means that there are over 6,500 victims and victims' families who have received no justice, okay? It's time for a change. And the problem is not in law enforcement. St. Landry Parish has some of the finest law enforcement officers in the state of Louisiana. The problem is a lack of prosecution. It's an issue Cravens disputes being a problem. There is not one file out there that we are not prosecuting actively and aggressively. If there are criminals who are out there who are not being prosecuted and who are not being brought into court, it's because they have an active bench warrant that has not been executed by the law enforcement agency. Voters will have their say starting tomorrow when early voting begins. Threes on the street in Opelousas, Iman Boy, KTC, TV3. I am